Hey what's up guys it's OSJ here with a brand new video. A few days ago I decided to make the hardest Commodore 64 games video. But as with a lot of the 8-bit machines there is an abundance of hard games on this system. So what I think is hard may not be deemed hard by the masses of C64 fans out there. So the solution was to ask the guys themselves on the C64 Facebook page. Well I was inundated with suggestions within the last 48 hours. Well over 100 but I only won 20, so I've played and whittled them down to what I would say is the hardest of the lot. Mostly we are talking hard as in difficulty, but some fall into the bad controls category though as you will see. But the top 10 definitely fall into the what the hell were they thinking of category. Anyway, these games are what I would consider the hardest Commodore 64 games ever made. In 20th place is the last V8. This one definitely falls into the bad controls category. That, mixed with just enough time to complete the level only if you drive perfectly, and no lenience on collisions makes this game very hard. It's only saving grace is one of the best SID tunes ever on the system. Nineteenth place goes to Airwolf. Now I can remember buying this as I loved the TV programme. Immediately I was met with a nightmare of a game. The controls are horrible and you just can't help but crash. Impossible Mission takes 18th place. This game was in my top 30 C64 games video because it's class, but to most it's also really hard. I however have completed this as once you master the jumping and the patterns of the robots it's not so tough, but it takes a long time to get to that point. Seventeen place goes to Game Over. This was a game that every hormonal teenager went out and bought just for the game cover. And to be honest, that was the best thing about the game. The game itself was frustrating to say the least, mostly for the fact that when you die you go right back to the start. In 16th place is Delta. This is a proper memory pattern game and once you've mastered the patterns it's a bit easier but that doesn't stop it from being one of the hardest shoot em ups on the system. <laughs> Dominator takes 15th place and I find the difficulty level on this game kills what would have maybe been one of the best shoot em ups on the C64. It looks great and the directional shooting is quite unique. If it had been a little easier this would have been a lot better. Fourteen place goes to Euridium. I never got the hang of this game, the walls always get me. The game itself is great, but I feel it's a bit repetitive, and as I've said it's really hard, as I think it's just a bit too fast. Thirteen place goes to Infiltrator. 
This game scored 92 in Zap and it's a great game. It was also one of the most mentioned games on the Facebook poll. I can only think that this is because most people struggle to take off. However, once you do master that, the game itself is mind-blowingly good. Hard, but good. The human race takes 12 players. No matter how many times I played this as a kid, I couldn't get off the first level. So I loaded back up after it was suggested. And guess what, it's even harder for me now. The jumping and collisions are just so unforgiving. Eleven players goes to Cybernoid. Everyone had this game back in the day and it's a nice multi-directional shooter but it's tough as nails. Still though, listen to that music, it's class. In 10th place is Bounder. This game was suggested by Sinner Steve and when he says something is tough, it must be. So I fired it up and had a go. At first I found it okay, but it quickly became hard and seemed almost impossible in some bits. Green Beret takes 9th place. Now this is another one that I have completed but the learning curve is massive because the AI doesn't always keep to the same patterns. It's still one of the best arcade conversions on the C64 though. In 8th place is Cybernoid 2. This is as good if not better than Cybernoid, but it's also that little bit harder. Again though, it's really enjoyable to play, so you sorta of don't get as frustrated as you do with a lot of hard games. Seventh place goes to Army Moves. This game is tough in the same respect that Game Over was, as when you die you go right back to the beginning. This is a really frustrating game, with no room for error. IO takes 6 place. Now this is a game that no matter how hard and how many times I've tried has always beat me. Even with save states I can't get past the level 4 boss. I have seen it done on YouTube but for me it's impossible. In 5th place is Hercules. I would say that this is the most infuriating game on the list. It's just a nightmare as the platforms turn into fire for no apparent reason. You get like 2 seconds when the game starts to decide what to do before the ground sets on fire. I hate this game with a passion. Fourth place goes to Rags to Riches. You play the character of a drunken tramp walking around picking up bottles and coins. You have to keep your alcohol, rest and food levels up as you go and that's the hard part. I last about one minute on this game tops. Cauldron 2 takes 3rd place. 
We all knew that the Cauldron Games would be right up there at the top, as they are renowned for being hard. The room for error is non-existent in these games. Cauldron 2's only saving grace is that it's not as hard as Cauldron 1. In second place is China Miner. From the off, this game is tough, and I mean from the first jump. The collision detection is pinpoint, and some of the jumps are just long enough just to make it from the perfect position. And all this to do with that god awful repetitive music going on. Nightmare. And now, the game we all knew would be top is Cauldron. To a naive onlooker, this looks like a nice combination of a platform and scrolling shoot 'em up, but to the player, it's pure torture. Anything less than perfect time jumps result in certain death. I have come to terms with the fact that I will never ever complete this game. Okay, that's it for me. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. Also, let me know in the comments below which games you thought were hard on the C64. Until next time, this is OSG signing out.